This gear almost looks like a spur gear, but take a closer look. It has a slight helical cut to it. And it's sitting on a shaft, so it can free spin on this shaft. And it's maintained a limited amount of movement on the shaft. And on one side, we have a metal washer that's part of the shaft, so it won't move. And on the other side, it has been held in place by what's known as a roll pin. Now, the roll pin can be removed so that this gear can be taken off this shaft. And this is sometimes called a split pin. The other characteristic that I want to show you about are these right here. These are thrust washers. And if you take a close look, we can actually see that it looks like there's two types of metal here. So we can see a bronze or copper colored material right in here, and then a steel colored material right there. So that is what they call a bimetallic thrust washer. Now I have another thrust washer right here that's also bimetallic that you can see. And here is the copper or bronze looking side. It's got oil grooves cut in it for lubrication, but this is a softer material. The tabs are to keep it from rotating. If you flip it over though, you'll see there's a steel side to it. So the steel side does not ride up against anything it's the bronze side that we want to ride up against something that's rotating because this is the softer side and it has lower friction. If we want any part of this to wear, we want this washer to wear out and we don't want the gear to wear out. So in this example, back to this gear right in here, you can see that we have a tab right here on this washer and that keeps that washer from spinning. And then we have the copper or bronze side over here so that when this gear rotates, it rotates against the soft side of this thrust washer. It's much cheaper to replace thrust washers than it is to replace gears. Thrust washers often come in different thicknesses so the technician can adjust the amount of movement the gear has on the shaft. 